In the book of Isaiah 54, verses 15. Isaiah 54, verses 15. And I want us to look at the identifying and destroying evil thoughts. And I want us to read together. Let's read together with you. One, two, three. Indeed, they shall surely assemble, but not because of me. Whoever assemble against you shall fall for your sake. Hallelujah. Whoever shall assemble against you, whoever assemble against you shall fall for your sake. Watakao kusanyika, kupiga lamri, kuita jinalako, kupeleka vitu kwa bahari, ama kwa pango, ama shini ya madhabahu maovu. Watatawanyika na kuanguka kwa sababu ya naema ya mungu ilio juu ya maisha yako. Whoever shall, whoever assemble against you shall fall for your sake. I study here to declare that if there are people that have gathered against you and against your children and against your destiny, I study here to declare them null and void and of none effect. I have come to declare their downfall. They shall not see the light of the day because of their gathering. The Lord shall scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to know that prayers are offensive armor. Prayers are, prayers are offensive armor. We need to be men and women that uses prayer as weapons of mass destruction of the kingdom of darkness. You have had a testimony. I thank God for this testimony because I didn't know that Nancy will come today. I, I didn't know she will come today because uh, uh, I, I didn't know that Jackie will come today. I didn't know that all the, all the testimony we have had here, they will, we will hear them today. But one of the things God has continued to put in my spirit is that God wants us to make us so offensive to silence the wickedness of the wicked in our land and we shall be free from demonic oppression in Jesus' name. There is nobody listening to this voice that you will sit at our oppression again. Because as they gather, as sorcerers, as wicked people, as circumstances and situation rises up against you, they shall not succeed. They shall fall for you. Hallelujah. Did you hear what I said? And I've told you that prayers are offensive armor in the heart of a Christian. Any Christian that is able to call upon the name of the Lord, that Christian has a weapon that is able to help you to succeed and survive and break through in areas that normal people cannot break through. Prayers are so important for you. I want you to understand that the Christian race is a warfare adventure. The Christian race, the Christian life, the Christian race is a warfare adventure. We are not for fanfare. We are for warfare. We have been called by God to fight. And we shall fight until we win in Jesus' name. We shall fight until our children graduate from high school. We shall fight until they get married. We shall fight until they have children. We shall fight until they live a successful life. And we shall fight until they serve our God. They will not serve, our children will not serve another God. They will serve the God we are serving. Would you look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, my children will serve the God I am serving. Hallelujah. They will not serve foreign God. They will not worship mountain. They will not worship rivers. They will not worship objects and other animals. They will serve the Jehovah God, the Father of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. All our children shall hear the voice of God and they shall come and submit to the God that we serve. I study here to declare that our children will not be diverted or hijacked or deceived or stolen by any power that is operating on this land. We release them to serve Jehovah God. No matter where they are, no matter who is following them, we study here to declare they shall serve the living God. They shall serve the living God. The effort of the devil to steal them is in futility because 
our God have already sealed them for the for his kingdom and they shall not die young our children shall not die young they shall live for a long time we are men of warfare we shall pray for their life accident will not kill them alcohol will not kill them drug will not kill them wishes will not kill them criminal work will not kill them they will not die in the heart of the wicked in the heart of the wicked they shall live long they shall see the glory of god why whoever has able against you shall fall for your sake whoever has able in an evil altar to call the name of your daughter to call the name of your son to call the name of your husband to call the name of your wife i study here as a servant of god they shall fall for you are sick. Why? You are a man and a woman of prayer. There is something that God has deposited in your life that is able to silence demonic influence in the land where we are living. We refuse to be slaves in our land. We refuse to be slaves in our land. We shall liberate this land from the powers of wishes. We shall liberate this land from wicked men and women. We shall liberate this land from the curse of poverty. We shall liberate this land from alcohol and drug abuse. Why? They shall gather, uh, but because it is not for my sake, they shall fall for your sake. They shall fall for your sake in the name of Jesus. I study here to declare they shall fall for your sake. Hallelujah. It takes prayers to bring down giants. Amen. Hallelujah. In the land of giants, only the giants survive. Bana Sifiwe. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, I may look small, but I am a giant. In my spiritual man, I am a giant. When the demonic world look at me, they don't see a small man, they see a giant. I am telling you, you may appear small, and you may appear so soft, and you may appear so weak, but you are a giant. And in this land, only the giant shall survive. And we shall silence every witchcraft connection that have been targeting our people, our children, our land, and our city. This estate shall not be ruled by wishes and sorcerers. This is an estate that will worship the living God. This is a, this estate will not be held hostage by alcohol and drug abuse. Those powers shall be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We shall rally all young people and young women, old and old and old people and children to serve the living God. They will not be captives of evil that run, that rule this land. They shall be free. They shall be free in Jesus' name. In the book of Luke chapter 18, verses 1. The book of Luke chapter 18, verses 1. Luke 18, verses 1. Luke 18, one, verses 1, say 1, 2, 3. Then he spoke a parable to them that men always to pray are not. Did you hear that testimony? She did not lose heart. Even when she was told, it is impossible for you to get a child. Imagine somebody saying it is impossible. And that is the person expected to give hope. Huh? You see, in the book of Hebrews, the Bible says, against all hope, Abraham believed God. Against all hope. Even if they have told you, your marriage cannot be dissolved. Against all that hope. You can believe in God. Even if they have told you cannot travel to the nations of the world, against all hope, you shall travel. Even if they said, I saw another testimony from, a, from one of my friends. We, we prayed together online. And, and, and in their church, a woman gave birth at 51. A lady who had been trusting God for yeah, the firstborn at 51. There is a God in heaven. And a mungu si mzee wa mta. Kwa kade jana yako mwabia mungu si mzee wa mta. Kwa kade jana yako mwabia mungu si mzee wa mta. Kwa kade jana yako mwabia mungu si mzee wa mta. Kwa kade jana yako mwabia mungu si mzee wa mta. Kwa kade jana yako mwab
Mungu si mzee wa mtaa na sina shida na wazee wa mtaa lakini Mungu si mzee wa mta discuss kama mtoto atapigwa muhuri ama atakuwa mzuri God is not a respecter of person ha? na Mungu si babu yako ha? Mungu si God is in heaven his his name and his word they are ever settled in heaven and nobody God is also sovereign God doesn't have to come and call people for a meeting to decide your case when God see it is done it is done there is no consultation God will not call angels to ask whether it is it is good to bless Roba he will not do that he will bless Roba and the angels will see Roba blessed and they will come now to support the blessing are we together somebody in the house of the Lord mekwambia Mungu si mzee wa mta kadia mtu mwingine kwa sababu watu wanachukua Mungu kama mzee wa mta unamtafuta unamtafuta wiki nzima ameambiwa amesafiri amefiriwa ameenda mali that is not god asina shida na wazee wa mta kwa sababu bwana Yesu asifiwe i want you to see how god is so faithful how god is a promise keeping god how god when he speak even if other twenty people have written report and taken it and taken that report in a council god will reverse that report may god reverse in a negative report that have been written about your life and about your destiny because he is god in heaven i cancel any evil prescription about yourself about your health about your destiny in jesus name hallelujah what is an evil pot an evil pot is a big bowl is a big bowl a bowl b b o w l is a big bowl or is a cauldron it's called also called cauldron c a u l d r o n s c a u l d r o n s cauldron what is a what is a nivor pot what is a nivor pot is a cauldron it is a big bowl a nivor pot is a bowl or a or a big or a big cauldron used in the witchcraft meeting used in the witchcraft meeting or, or conferences or gathering which are also called coven a nivor pot is a big bowl or cauldron used in witchcraft coven or meeting or seminars or convents conferences to do the following to monitor to track to summon to afflict number one to monitor number two to track number three to summon number four to afflict they are victim very pit myself i've told you a nivo cauldron a nivo cauldron don't have because i want to keep time but i have told you the purpose of a nivo pot that is used that is used by wishes and sorcerer why they have a pot how many people have ever seen a pot here you have seen the pot pot umeona pot ile inapika ile 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 the traditional pot that that is that is made of earthen earthen vessel and and it we used to people used to cook their food either you used to cook it with uh, the poi githeri whatever it is used to cook to boil uh, soup whatever it is have you seen a, a pot that pot you saw it is also used in the demonic world as a gadget of communication it is like a hot spot a wifi where it is able to search its client there is a way it there is a way it they, they, there is a way that pot they take it and is dedicated in the demonic cream to become like a like like like, like a center of monetary tracking a freaking did you hear that to track to monitor to summon 
the victim. And I want you to understand. I don't know whether you have realized this. People who don't like your success, people who feel bad when you are progressing, they really monitor your progress. Amen? Have you realized this? People who are evil and people who feel bad, they, they monitor our progress, even as a church. The people who are so mad about this church. Are we together with you? They are so mad, they will do any scandal. They will say anything to, to feeling bad because they are using their money to the earth. Yeah? If you are progressing in your village, if you are progressing in your office, and there are people who don't like you, they really monitor your progress. If you buy a new phone, they ask, they know. If you, if you put on a new hairstyle, they, they are the first one to come and comment. Ah, I'm shona ya nyere imeja kila mahali. Kwa wivu. Asika wivu mpaka na shido kunyamaza na sema, ah, chikwizi watu watu wanatekenesa nyere hivi. Lakini, it is, it is, it is a demonic hatred that is created by a thought, by wicked people. The people you see on the road, even some of the people who have fought, they may have visited our church today. Ah, they don't go in in pub. Para watu naona huko kwa pub na washashukuru wa kitabu wa kapere wamefungwa huko. Sasa wale wanakuja kurekruit watu hapo. Akuja na kaa ana monitor mtu. Akisikia umetangaza harusi yako, bas asikia wivu. Anaanza ku monitor wewe. Lakini leo nimekuja kukuongelesha kwa neema ya Bwana. Kama kuna nyungu yoyote ya uchawi inafuata maisha yako hiyo nyungu inavutika leo kwa mamlaka ya neno la Kristo na mwenye anatumia hiyo nyungu anapokea kichapo cha binguni na kichapo cha malaika katika jina la Yesu na maisha yako inafunguliwa kutoka kwa utumwa wa uchawi na uganga katika jina la Yesu did you hear what i say the work of this more evil part is to monitor, is to track, is to summon, and to afflict their victim. They just monitor. So, I want you to understand something. There are three evil cauldron or evil pots that are used for three reasons. Evil pots are used for three reasons. Number one is to summon. I want, to, I want to talk briefly on, on, on summoning. They are used to summon. This is done by calling the name of their victim and commanding them to show up in the pot. They call your name at night or during the day or in the, under the sea or in the forest or under a tree or in a rock or in a cave. They put that, they put, they put, they put the pot and they call your name. They can shout. Robert Ogema, Robert Ogema, they can, tell, they can shout your name like a thousand times until you appear in their pot. If you, are a, if you are a weak Christian and you are a prayerless believer, you can appear there. If you are a weak Christian, Anategemea maopi ya sande. Na maopi ile pasta ataoba. Wewe ukiitwa kwa hizo nyungu utatokea. Huko. I'm telling you. Let, let me tell you something about the same. This can be done through demonic powers. These wishes enchant the soul of the individual into the pot and call the person by name. If the person is weak and prayerless Christian or is not a Christian at all, he will appear in the pot. Weak or prayerless or is not a Christian at all, you shall be summoned and you shall appear in the pot. But if you are a prayerful person, you cannot appear. I will never appear in their summon. Because I will pray. Amen? I will hide the word of God in my spirit. Amen? 
know what this morning I was reading of a, of a girl who clothes were brown. She was a Sunday school, a Sunday school girl, just like the small Sunday school girls you are seeing here. And she was a Sunday school girl. And when the wind was blowing, the wind blew some of her clothes in the neighboring home, which is a, which is a house of a witch. And the cloth, it went, the, the cloth, the cloth went, uh, the cloth went through to the to the place where this witch does his does his wishes, his, his practices. And then there was darkness in that house. The witch could not see anyone. The witch could not summon anyone just because of a cloth of a small girl. This girl, she was she was she, she has been taught to sing. She has been taught to sing those songs we sing by clapping the the heart, like the song we say. Jesus is the King of Kings, the head of church, the cornerstone, the firm foundation, moving on. They were, they were taught the song that, that described the authority of Christ through action. And the girl, as, as she's singing, uh, she's singing the song is when the weed blow and go to the other uh, 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 and blow the cross. The, the, the same time, the weed blow also one of the, one of the, one of the, these toys, this what are they called? Teddy bears. This small teddy bears. It was thrown on their compound. So, as the girl saw the, the teddy bear going, she followed the she followed the she followed the teddy bear as it was taken. It was a light one. It was taken by the weed in the in the witchcraft in the, in the witch's compound. And as she went to pick the teddy bear, she also saw her clothes inside, and she went inside. That time, the witch could not rise up. The wish, that the wish could not rise up from his, from his from his from his seat because of the power of God in the cloth of this young girl. Immediately she took the cloth and left. That which followed the girl to the parent to know how powerful is she as a witch because she, she thought she is a witch. She said, no, I'm a Sunday school. I'm a Sunday school kid. I go to church, and that was the end of that witch of that witch practicing witchcraft. Because if this girl can stop my whole day, then I, I better follow the God of this girl. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Did, did you see? Did you see yesterday? Did you see yesterday the Secretary General of the Secretary General? Of did you see the Secretary General of others? He has resigned from being an others, and he has believed that Jesus is Lord. He has written a tweet in NTV. And I have resigned. I realize this, there is Jesus. He is the Secretary General. Do you know who is the Secretary General of a political party? Or a Secretary General of a company? Do you know who that person is? Is the person who is the custodian of the rule and the faith and the statement of belief of an organization. If the Secretary General resigns, then the organization is as good as dead. What am I saying? I'm talking about the power that is in the name of Jesus. There is no pot that is able to monitor you if you are a Christian that is prayerful. Amen? Did you hear what I said? Number two. Let me say number two. Number one is two. And you have agreed you shall not be summoned. And you declare I shall not be summoned. There are people here who are summoned at night. You are summoned at night. Kufanya kazi. Kubeba mitungi ya maji. Kweda kutafuta kuni. Kweda unajikuta we ukone miaka alubaine, miaka daradhini, miaka hamsini. Bado unajikuta kuyo mtoto mdogo. Unaeda kushuta, unaeda unaeda kufuna mnavu na na saga. Uko kwa kwa musitu, uko mdogo. Because in the spirit realm, you, you, you don't have age. In the spirit realm, in the spirit realm, you are not 20 years old or 50 years old. You are a spirit. So whoever is summoning you can summon you at the age of 20 or at the age of 16, form 2, when you are in form 2 and you see yourself in a class. Ukiamuka, unakuta wewe, unafanya kazi kwa ofisi, lakini jana urikuwa mwanafunzi wa form, Would you look at your neighbor and ask your neighbor, have you been summoned this year? Don't answer him. Amen? 
Il faut ça. Number two is to monitor. Wishes monitor their victim through port. They can know your every move. They know when things are working for you and when things are not. They can see your life through their evil port. They use it to spot, to monitor you. This is a topic we we'll get some time and share with you. Because we will, I will, I will share with us a way to pray ourselves so that our children, our ministry, our businesses, our personal life cannot be summoned by our port. Nobody should monitor you. Amen. Can, I, can you declare I, I will not be monitored by a demonic pot? In this land of Mombasa and Coast region, there is no pot that monitor you. Even pot from your village, they cannot monitor you. A person using any object to monitor you, either from the sea or from the land or from the air, they have no power from this day. And any object that is being used in the demonic world to manipulate, to monitor, to oppress and, and punish you. That object is going to break today. It's going to break today. We are destroying that, pro that object in the name of Jesus. We are bringing down witchcraft pots that are being raised against your family, against your finances, against your business. They shall be broken. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, you shall not be monitored. I declare again, you shall not be monitored. Number three, you are freaked. Because the, because the wishes and the sorcerers and wicked people can use pots, just demonic pots, to summon you through a pot, to monitor your progress. They can equally afflict you through this satanic pot. Amen? All they need is to summon your soul and straight to your head bring a lot of affliction. They can afflict you with the sicknesses. They can afflict you with the accident. They can afflict you with the conflict. They can afflict you with the, with the frustration, with the disappointment through a pot. But the good news, the good news is if you are a Christian and you have an authority and you are able to pray, there is no evil man or woman or any evil pot that can be able to monitor you or summon you or afflict you. And I have come today, this morning, to help somebody listening to me that from this day forward, we are going to bring down every monitoring pot. Any pot monitoring our girls, monitoring our boys, monitoring our men, monitoring our women, monitoring our children, monitoring our finances, monitoring our, our life. Those thoughts are going to be broken today in this service, in Jesus' name. We refuse to be monitored. We refuse to be summoned. We refuse to be afflicted in Jesus' name. We refuse to be monitored. We refuse to be summoned. We refuse to be afflicted by any satanic pot by any witch, by any sorcerer, our name shall become poisonous in the mouth of those witches. Anyone doing incantation, they shall not mention our name. Our name shall be violent in their mouth. Our name shall be a volcano in their situation. They cannot monitor us. They cannot summon us. They cannot destroy our life or afflict us in the name of Jesus Christ. I come to declare to you any evil satanic to a pot that is monitoring your life, that is monitoring your business, that is monitoring your spouse, wherever that pot is, 
by the ladder of God, we commanded to break. We commanded to break the part that is monitoring Mikidani, the part that is monitoring our jobs, the part that is monitoring our city. We command that part to break in the name of Jesus. We came with an assignment to destroy every part that is going, that is monitoring our life. We declare this morning, all evil parts are broken today. Parts of barrenness. Any part monitoring us and it has been assigned as a part of barrenness that we shall not give birth to children, that we shall not be fruitful in our in the work of our heart, that our certificate are null and void. We come here today under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We declare our certificates we will give us good job. I declare our certificate we will give us good job. I declare our women that are married in a wedding, that are married with a husband. We decree children in their marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare Clear any business, any job. I pronounce fruitfulness. I pronounce profit making. I pronounce progress. I break the power of the evil pot. In Jesus' name, all pots are broken. All pots are broken. Hallelujah. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 11, verse 1. I want to read this and then we pray one prayer point or two. Ezekiel, can we read together with you? Let us read all of us together with you. One, two, three. Then the Spirit lifted me up and brought me to the east gate of the Lord's house, which faces eastward. And there, and there at the door of the gate were 25 men among whom I saw Jahazaniah, the son of Azul, and Peratia, the son of Benaiah, princes of the people. Princes of the people. Number two, what does it say, number two? Number two say, can we read together, one, two, three? And he said to me, son of man, these are the men who devise iniquity and give wicked counsel in this city. Amen? How many wicked people? How many are there in number? Imagine you have 25 people who sit in offices, they make decisions about the destiny of a city and their mission is to give a wicked, a wicked decision. 25. They are not just God men, they are called princes of people. A prince is not even like a, a, a prince is a son of a king. Is that so? A prince is a... If the king dies, he assumes kingship. Amen? So this is a prince. This is a powerful man than just a person who is holding a position. Their position is not something you fight for. It's something that has come because of where they are born. So there is a wickedness. There are wicked foundation that has raised his sons and put them in places to give evil advice and destroy a city and hold people hostage that nobody can become a success. Nobody can build a house. Nobody can get children. Nobody can go to university and graduate. If you make a mistake of graduating from university, you turn up the next 20 years. I came today under the anointing of the Holy Spirit with a holy anger in my heart. I am speaking to these 25 wicked evil men sitting against our city. We are removing them from their seat. We are removing them from their possession. We are commanding them any evil advice they have given in our land. Those advice are reversed. Those advice are reversed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's go to number three. Let's go to number three. Look at what the Bible says. Number three. Who says the time is not near to build houses. This city is a cauldron. And we are I told you about the cauldron or the pot. Do you have a passion that says the pot? You have that passion. This city is a pot. Is it there? 
Ene basham. Yeah, let's read, let's, let's read together. One, two, three. They say to the people, is it not a good time to build houses? This city is like an iron pot and we are safe inside like meat in our pot. In our pot, put another version. Another version. Yeah. Let's read. They say, we can make anything happen here. We are the best. We are the choice pieces of meat in the soup pot. Amen. Ya kwamba hii muji ni nyungu. Na sisi ni nini? Kazi ya nyama ni kufanya nini ni kupikwa. Inapikwa na nini? Na nyungu. Nitakupea when God give us time, I'll give you same talk. Kujua wewe umewekwa kwa nyungu. Ukipimwa na hii hii damo damo hii damo gun utaonekana huko 35 ama 36. Lakini we mwenyewe unasikia uko kwa moto. Hiyo moto haiwezi kupatikana na damo gun kwa sababu ni ya kilo. Uko kwa nyungu. Kuna watu wanakwanga moto wanaweza kuhakikisha kipo. Wanaweza kuchoma maiti. Kwa kwa moto kabisa. Kwa uguza hivi unasikia ni kama unashika shuma ni kwa moto. Kwa sababu ya kwa ndani ya kwa kal, kaltron. Somebody say kaltron. Wanaweza sipe sana. If you are if you are put in a pot if the devil makes sure if the devil hold you hostage and put you in a pot you have a lot of trouble in the thing that you are doing it becomes so difficult it becomes so difficult for you to reconcile to connect to the people to progress in anything or to have peace your own personal peace it's not anywhere near but i start to you today to declare those pots shall be broken let's look at verse 4 verses 4. What does they say? Go, go, go to K- NKJV. NKJV, that, what does they say? One, two, three. Therefore, prophesy against the 25. They are a, these people are a wicked people holding position of decision making. The decision they make, it affects you. It affects your children. It affects your business. It affects your health. It affects everything that you do. I stand here to declare all those 25 wicked men and women seated in the presence of authority making evil decisions to affect my destiny and my worship to my God. Those wicked people, they shall come down. They shall come down. Somebody say they shall come down. Hallelujah. I, I, I want, what was what was Jeremiah what was Ezekiel told Ezekiel was told to do what number 4 therefore do you remember we talked about prophecy is a decree that must be executed is an order that cannot be stopped are you aware of that we are going to prophesy those who said you will not get children we are saying to them we will get children those who said you will never travel international because you had a, you god had called you international you know there are people seated here and they are supposed to be somewhere else not here bwana sifiwe kuna watu wameketi hapa wanastahili wawe ngapo wakiwa watu wakubwa kwa tv wakitangaza mambo katika biashara za huko katika ulimwengu those international presence kuna watu wengine wanastahili kuwa hapa wamefungwa kijijini na, 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 na nyungu wamefungwa wako huko kijijini ile maombi tuloba hapa ya operation jona watamezwa kama jona watatapikwa hapa na wewe kama unastahili kuwa marekani ama australia ama india ama china whenever unastahili kuwa leo leo hii tunavuta hiyo nyungu iliyo kushika mateka na tukivuja hiyo nyungu milango yako itafunguka chochote Mungu atakunenea hakitakuwa na upinzani tena katika jina la Yesu zile fedha umekuwa umekojea kwa muda mrefu zitakufuata mpaka mahali huko katika jina la Yesu let's read verse 13 let's jump to verse 13 
Let's read together. One, two, three. Now it happened while I was prophesying that Peratia, son of Benaiah, died. When I was, imagine he was just praying and prophesying against them. I command them to die. I command them not to see the light of the day. I command them not to stop the work of God in this land. I command them not to rise up against the agenda of God. As as he was, as Ezekiel was prophesying, one of those wicked elders he fell down and died. We are not given the story of the rest, but you can know what happened. Peratia was a senior person because his name is mentioned. He was known. The other one were not very known. Two of them were known. If people know your name, it's because you are famous. Are you aware of that? If you are known, it's because of your fame. And Peratia was one of the famous wicked person in that land. He fell down and died. Any witch or sorcerer that is responsible of your pain, they shall fall down and die. We are breaking the pot they are using and they shall fall down and die. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. I want us to pray to prayer point. I want us to pray to prayer point. To prayer point. To prayer point. Hallelujah. Have you gotten something this morning? Have you gotten something this morning? You know, you know you can be in church and you cannot know that you are already you are already been put in a pot. You come, you go. You are not happy outside, you are not happy inside. You are not free. There is something you feel you don't have. There is something you are looking for. You have tried to come for many things. But it's also good to be disciplined in following and receiving the word of God and pursuing prayer because God answers prayer. Hallelujah. Are you ready to break these spots? Are you ready to break these spots that are holding your life? Are you aware that you are going to be set free? One prayer point or two. I am doing two prayer points and then we are done. I want us to pray. Any evil thought assigned to frustrate my destiny as I pray, break, and it shall break. Wherever that thought is, no more frustration from today. Your destiny shall come through. Your destiny shall come through. Amen. Your destiny shall come through. Amen. Your destiny shall come through. Amen. Lift up your heart and declare, My Father and my God. My Father as I pray this morning, as I pray this morning, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I take the sword of the Spirit and enter in the realm of the Spirit. And with the armor of God, I declare, I am a success. I am not a failure. I am not a failure. By the authority, By the authority. in the word of God, word of I, God. Decree this I decree this morning. Any satanic pot, any, satanic any pot. witchcraft pot, any witchcraft assigned pot. to frustrate my life, assigned to frustrate my, assigned to frustrate my family, assigned to frustrate as, my family. I pray this morning, as I pray this morning, you satanic pot, you satanic wherever, pot. You are, wherever you are, under the sea. Under the sea, in the forest, in the forest, under the earth, under the earth, in the air, in the air, you satanic pot, you satanic hear pot. the word of the Lord, hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, break by that Break by that break by that Break by command to break by that Any satanic pot, any satanic pot, assigned to frustrate you, assigned to frustrate your job, assigned to frustrate your children, assigned to frustrate your destiny. As I to frustrate your life, as we pray, as we pray, die, break, 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 we break satanic pot, we break satanic pot, we break satanic pot in the caves, we break the satanic pot in the roundabout, we break the satanic pot in crossroads, we break the satanic.
satanic pot in witchcraft houses. We break satanic pot, monitoring our church, monitoring our children, monitoring our marriage, monitoring our destiny. As we pray, satanic pot, hear the word of the Lord. Your time is up. Your time is over. Catch fire. Break by that. Break by that. Break by that. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That satanic pot is broken. Amen. That satanic pot is broken. Amen. Now we are going to pray. Any wicked person. In the order of the 25 people. Yes. Are devising evil against your life. Yes. As we pray. Yes. They shall fall down and die. Amen. As we pray. Yes. They shall fall down and die. Amen. In the order of Peratia. They, they will not destroy your children. Amen. They will not destroy your marriage. Amen. They will not destroy your business. Amen. In the order of Peratia. Yes. In Ezekiel chapter 11 verses 13, yes. they shall fall down and die. Amen. Lift up your heart and declare, my Father and my God, my Father and my God. with the sword of the Spirit, the the spirit. In, the of the spirit. in the realm of the Spirit, any wicked man devising evil against my life, in the order of Peratia, I smash them, die by that, die by that, Die by Dada in the realm of the spirit. We kill them by Dada. Die, 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 in Jesus name we pray Amen. in Jesus name we pray Amen. lift up your heart and declare my father and my God, my father and my God. I, am blessed. I am blessed in the city in the, city. In the countryside in the, country in the place of my work in, of in my, my home in my, home. In my businesses in my, business. my mind is set free from any demonic manipulation I cancel this morning I cancel this morning. Any evil monitoring spirit. Any evil monitoring I cancel this morning. I cancel this morning. Any evil summoning spirit. Any evil In the name of Jesus. I cancel this morning. I cancel this morning. Any spirit of affliction. Against my life. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of monitoring. Spirit of evil summon. Spirit of war. Spirit of affliction. As I pray. Hear the word of the Lord. I am not your candidate. You are not my portion. As I pray, die by Dada. Die by Dada. Command evil someone. Those who summon you in your dream. Those who summon you in your dream. Those who afflict you with sicknesses. Those who afflict you with poverty and oppression. As we pray, let them die. Let them catch fire. Let the power, let the spirit of affliction die. Let the spirit of Summon, evil summon die. Let the spirit of evil monitoring die in the name of Jesus. I release this congregation. I release these men and women. I release this meeting. I release these people. I release businesses. Lift your heart as I pray for you. Every one of us, let's lift up our heart. Our Father and our God, we lift up our heart in obedience to your voice. Right now, as we start in this altar, yes. we address all evil points that have been earmarked to fight our ministry, yes. and earmarked to fight our families, yes. and earmarked to fight our finances. Yes. We declare today, we shall not be poor yes. in this land. Amen. We shall not be weak in yes. this land. Amen. We shall not be small in this land. Our voice shall be heard. Amen. Our blessing shall be seen. Amen.
and by the anointing yes. of the Holy Spirit yes. by the authority yes. in the word of the living God yes. by the grace yes. upon this altar yes. we break satanic pots against our destiny Amen. in Jesus name Amen. pots of weaknesses yes. pots of infirmities yes. pots of poverty yes. break by the other break by the other we assign angels yes. we assign angels yes. in our ministry yes. we assign angels yes. in our offices yes. we assign angels yes. over our families yes. we assign angels yes. over our marriages yes. we assign angels yes. over our businesses yes. Lord as we come to the close of this service yes. we declare we are blessed yes. Yes. from the top of our head oh, yes. to the toe of our feet yes. And will never be the same again Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. when we put our hearts down in that mode of prayer could you have come here all of us putting our hearts down could you have come to this service today and you have realized that the demons and pots of wishes they have afflicted you they summon you at will you never sleep you have no rest in the place of your work in your marriage is more worse than any other place you have been in your life. I want to pray together with you by faith. Could you be in this meeting and you want to get born again? You want to give your life to Christ. Can, I, can you give me an opportunity to lead you to the faith in Jesus Christ? Could there be a person who came to this service today? You are not born again. Umekuja bada ya leo. Hauja okoka. Na umesikia sauti ya mungu. Unasema mtugaji nataka kuokoka nataka kukuombea kuna mtu akatamani ukuokoka ainue mkono tumuombea uokovu kuna mtu amekuja kuokoka asubuhi ya leo you came to get saved can i pray for you will you give me an opportunity to pray for you you came to give your life to christ can i pray for salvation could you be this person that you have been tormented beyond measure you don't understand it pains you that you serve God but the pain that you have gone through the torment of evil summon and affliction and monitoring those pain are coming to an end would you shoot up your heart I believe God with you wherever you are just shoot up your heart I declare a nail to that summon I declare a nail to that torment I declare a nail to that pain father in the authority of your word I commit this men and women I release an anointing to break any torment, any father torment, any evil monitoring, evil sermon, evil affliction. Break in the name of Jesus. I break you in the name of Jesus. I command you to release them right now in Jesus' name. So shall it be. You are free. You are free. You are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. I decree you are free. Amen. It is well. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. Have you been blessed? You have something to learn with this week. 